hi fans of high quality entertainment. Uh, I'm going to be doing the very same thing I recently did to the Beatles uh, vinyl albums. Uh, which of the album sides you like the most? And as I always say, this is just for fun, just for entertainment value. And so don't take it too seriously. But I would love your thoughts in the comments section below on your favorite side of each Led Zeppelin album. And for the Beatles video, I, I don't know if you know or not, but I have a rock music vlogs playlist and also a separate Beatles playlist now on my front page. So here we go. Starting with their debut album, Led Zeppelin 1, one of the greatest debut albums of all time. And I have not thought of which side beforehand. So, I'm doing it right now as I speaketh to you. Okay, so Led Zeppelin, side one has good times, bad times, babe, I'm going to leave you. You shook me, dazed and confused. Side two has your time is going to come, Black Mountain side, communication breakdown, I can't quit you, baby. How many more times, which is my, I think my favorite all-time Led Zeppelin song. Oh, but Dazed and Confused is so awesome, too. I'm, and, and babe, I'm going to leave you, and you shook me in good times, bad times. I have to choose side one. If I could only play one side. That's kind of how I'm... That's the way you have to kind of think about it. Okay, Led Zeppelin 2. Another superb album. Side one, whole lot of love. What is and what should never be. The Lemon Song and Thank You. Heartbreaker, Start Side 2. Living Loving Maid, Ramble On, Moby Dick and Bring It On Home. Side 1. Led Zeppelin 3. Ooh. Side 1. Immigrant Song, Friends, Celebration Day, Since I've Been Loving You, and Out on the Tile. Side 2, Gallows Pole, Tangerine, That's the Way, Ronnie R. Stomp, and Hats Off to Roy Harper, which a lot of Led Zeppelin fans don't like, but I love it. But, it's pretty even, but I'm going to have to go with the rockier side, side 1. Led Zeppelin 4, or Untitled, or Zoso, or whatever you want to call it. Side 1 of the vinyl. Black Dog, Rock and Roll, The Battle of Evermore, and some song called Stairway to Heaven. I don't know if you've heard it or not. Side 2, Misty Mountain Hop, Four Sticks, Going to California, and When the Levee Breaks. Le levee, Levee, When the Levee Breaks. Hmm. I am pretty sick and tired of Stairway to Heaven, but it's still, of course, a great song. And when the levee breaks, it's so awesome. But I'm going to have to go with, with side one. I think most people would, but I could be wrong. I've been wrong once before. Now on to Houses of the Holy, which isn't one of my favorite Led Zeppelin albums. I'm sorry, but I, I'm not saying I don't like it. I do like it. Side one, the song remains the same. The Rain Song, Over the Hills and Far Away, and The Crunch. Side 2 of Dancing Days, I'm not even going to say it because I always screw it up every time, but it's that Jamaican song. Jamaica? Is that how you say it? Jamaica? I don't know. Uh, don't even bother trying to help me, okay? It's a lost cause. No Quarter and The Ocean. Ah, uh, yeah. I've never really taken to No Quarter. But I like Dancing Days, I Don't Mind the Ocean, and that Jamaican song I've always kind of liked. But I have to go with side one. Yeah. I don't even mind the crunch, it's kind of... It's a fun song. Now, on to the awesomest. Now, on to the very awesome 
physical graffiti, which along with their debut album is my favorite Led Zeppelin album. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'll choose, like I did with the Beatles White album on the Beatles video, I'll choose the best of side one or side two, and then side three and side four, and then the ultimate side of physical graffiti. So, side one is Custard Pie, The Rover, and In My Time of Dying. Side two is Houses of the Holy, Trampled Underfoot, and Cashmere. Oh my god. But I'm going to have to go with side one because I absolutely love all three songs. The only one on side two I, I just, I really like a lot, but I don't necessarily love it, is Trampled Underfoot. But of course, Cashmere is, is incredible. But yeah, side one. And then for disc, well, I'm reading disc two, for the other vinyl album, side three, In the Light, Brawny R, down by the seaside and ten years gone. Oh, and then side four. Night Flight, the wanton song, Boogie with Stew, Black Country Woman, which those two songs, some Led Zeppelin fans aren't crazy about, but I love them. And Sick Again, which one of my favorite Led Zeppelin songs, along with uh, Night Flight. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, I've got to pick. Okay, i got to pick the, from those two sides. I would have to go with... This is really hard. Wow. Oh, I'm gonna have to go with, with side... Side 3. I, I used to just kind of like In the Light, but, I, but with the, the newly remastered version, I like it a lot more. I might even love it. So yeah, side 3. But overall, between side 3 and side 1, because Ten Years Gone on side three is one of their greatest songs. Down by the Seaside is really nice. And In the Light, I, I like I said, I love it now, kind of. But I, I gotta pick side one, because it just rocks. Now on to Presents, which I like a lot. I don't know if I necessarily love it, but I certainly love it a lot more than Houses of the Holy. So, Presence, Side 1, Achilles, Last Stand, For Your Life, and Royal Orleans. Not one of the greatest songs. And Side 2, Nobody's Fault But Mine, Candy Store Rock, Hot Song for Nowhere, and T for One. T for One is awesome. I love that. But I have to go with Side 1. Because Achilles, Last Stand, Achilles, sorry. Achilles, Last Stand, and For Your Life, I absolutely love. In Through the Outdoor, one of my least favorite Led Zeppelin studio albums. But I gotta pick a side. I don't hate it though. Side one, In the Evening, Southbound, Cerez. Uh, number three, uh, Fool in the Rain, the third track, and Hot Dog. Uh, side two is Caris Alhambra. All My Love and the very, very excellent I'm Going to Crawl. Woo. I don't care for Carousel Lambra too much. But All all My Love, now that I know the song was written about uh, the loss of Robert Plant's son, uh, I think it's a great song. And I'm Going to Crawl, I absolutely love. Yeah, I'm going to go with side two. And I'm actually going to do, I wasn't, I usually just do the straight s studio albums, but I'm going to do the original Coda and the original, the song remains the same. So here we go. Coda. Side one is We're Gonna Groove, Poor Tom, I Can't Quit You Baby, and Walter's Walk, I believe. And then the side two, I might be wrong. But I think side two starts with Ozone Baby, Darlene, Bonzo's Monterey, and Wearing and Tearing. But it doesn't matter because I would definitely pick side one. I, I'm not crazy about Coda, but I absolutely do love We're Gonna Groove and Poor Tom and I Can't Quit You Baby. The live album. The song remains the same. Once again, like uh, Physical Graffiti, there's four sides. So I'll pick one from each disc first. Side one, Rock and Roll, Celebration Day, The Song Remains the Same, and The Rain Song. 
Side two is just one very long song, about, I think, 23 minutes long, Dazed and Confused. Definitely side one, although I didn't really, I wasn't too crazy about Dazed and Confused when I first heard it, but I've gotten to kind of dig it over the years. And the other, rec the other record, final side, uh, side three, No Quarter and Stairway to Heaven, and side four, Moby Dick and Whole Lot of Love. I'm not crazy about drum solos. I mean, to watch them, yes, they can be pretty cool, but to listen to it, not as much. So I will pick side three. I actually like the live version of No Quarter better than the studio version on Houses of the Holy. And the version of Stairway to Heaven on the live album I, I like a lot too. So overall, would I pick side one or side three? I would pick definitely side one. I love the live version of Rock and Roll and Celebration Day. The song remains the same as really well done and uh, the Rain song is good. So that's it. I would love your comments in the comments below. Or you can put them up here if there's a way to put them up here. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Please remember to thumbs up the video and check out all of my playlists on my front page. I just posted a new bad grammar slash reading viewers comments video. I didn't know which to call it, so I'm sticking with bad grammar. And uh, just check out a few of my more and more, more. I'm not even drinking. Just check out a few more of my videos if you like for hours of entertainment or boredom, whatever you prefer. Thanks for watching. Bye.